new details about the more than 100 alleged sex crimes between former student and teacher who was confronted about abuse in YouTube video. I've got the YouTube video linked down below. It's a little over eight minutes or about nine. And I'll also have the original article that I'm reading linked down below. You can also check that out yourself. A California court heard Friday that an educator accused of sexual assault by a former pupil in a phone conversation that was videoed and later uploaded to YouTube had sex with a girl more than 100 times when she was allegedly between 12 and 14. I said, I guess that would be alleged. I guess she was 12 or 14. But anyway, the judge refused to dismiss sexual assault charges against Andrea Mitchell Cardosa, 40, a former assistant principal who was charged in February with 16 felony counts, including five counts of aggravated assault on a child. And as I said before, the video is down below. I would strongly recommend watching it. Prosecutors said Cardosa abused the former student, Jamie Carrillo, who is now 28. In 1997 to 2001, starting when the child was 12, and attending Chumawa Middle School in Riverdale. According to court documents, the relationship between the Cardosa kissing the girl and progressed until they had their first sexual encounter in the girls' locker room at school. On another occasion, Cardosa drove Carilla to Carrillo to a secluded area and had sex with her in the back of, it, of her car, alleged prosecutors. Carrillo says that Cardosa once took her to her sister's home to have sex and when they heard the front door open, Cardosa threw the 13 year old Carrillo into a closet and threw clothes on top of her. She told her sister she had stopped by the house to take a shower. Okay, using her sister's place to do this stuff. Wow. Okay. The girl said that between the time she was 12 to 14 years old, she had sex with Cardosa over a hundred times. Another former student came forward after seeing the student with Cardosa, who was also charged with abusing her. So it's a second person come forward. In the video posted online on January 17th. The former student telephones Alhambra High School where Cardosa was working, and the receptionist connects her to a woman who identifies herself as Cardosa. You should be so ashamed and so disgusted with yourself, Carrillo says. I am, I am, the woman said. So it, it's, it's a little over eight minutes, the whole thing she talks about before she calls her, the phone call, and then what she's thinking after she's hung up on her. So, yeah. The former student did not detail the alleged abuse on the video. Documents reveal that the relationship between Carrillo and Cardoso continued until the girl was 18 years old. When Carrillo tried to leave Cardoso, reports she threatened to kill herself. So this is an adult woman threatening to kill herself if, if, if the younger one leaves. Smashed her head repeatedly on a table and refused to let Carrillo leave. So. Carrillo is the younger one, and Cardosa is the older one, so just make sure we get that. She then forced Carrillo to have sex with her, and the girl was only able to leave once Cardosa fell asleep. So, controlling the abuse, she's young, the whole thing, just a piece of meat to her. The last time the pair saw each other was in 2007, according to court documents. Cardosa visited Carrillo after she gave birth to her first child. Okay, wait a minute. The last time the pair saw each other was 2007, according to Cordosa. Cordosa visited Carrillo after she gave birth to her first child. Cordosa told the younger woman that she wanted to get back together and that she and her newborn son could move in with her. So, Carrillo has a baby boy now and then Cordosa just shows up and says, hey, let's get back together. You and your son can move in with me. 
She also threatened to tell Carrillo's family that she was a lesbian. Woo. Oh boy. That's, uh... You know, out of everything that's horrible here, there's, there's that's going to get her uh, in even deeper trouble if it's possible. Cardoso pleaded not guilty at the hearing where defense attorney Randy Collins argued that the case should, should be dismissed because police investigated in 1998 when the mother of Carrillo's friend became concerned about Cardoso's relationship with the student. That means the statute of limitations for charging Cardoso has expired, he argued. Prosecutors countered in the court that the girl told police nothing was wrong because Cardoso urged her to lie and therefore the window to file the case would remain. So uh, this is illegal, this is legalese, who knows. You can't force her to say she was a, a crime victim. Police stopped investigating. Supervising Deputy District Attorney Jerry Henry said reports in PE.com the statute is triggered when the victim reports she is a victim. So in other words, until, until she comes forward and says there's a problem, it doesn't start. Okay, that's the way it works. Riverdale Superior Court Judge Helos Hernandez allowed the case to proceed Friday and also rejected the defense motion to reduce Cardoso's $5 million bail. What's one of the things that really stands out in the conversation once you see the video is how really remorseless the other person is. They just don't seem to understand. They, they, they got what they wanted and you know, what's, what, you know, what's the deal? And then, uh, let's see, read a few, uh, well, at least a couple of comments here. It says, if a female pedophile, she should get as much time as a male. One is no better than the other. It makes me sick when women get away with sex abuse. Just because a parent goes along with it like they do sometimes doesn't change things. Well, you kind of get the idea. There's actually quite a, there's actually quite a few comments that are, that are down here. And, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and you can read that yourself if you want. And then, oh, actually, I'm going to read one. One more. Okay, when the victim is a boy, you always get a lot of comments like, lucky boy. Funny how no one ever says that when, it, when a girl, when it's an abused girl, right? Nobody goes, how lucky she was. And that's true. There's, to say double standards isn't enough. There's just so many different ways we look at stuff, and it's wrong. People should be able to go to school and be left alone. And, and teachers, go get your sex life somewhere else. All right, that's going to be it, and uh, there's a lot of these stories, unfortunately. Until next time, take care.